Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have a busy day today. Got to do email. The live show on YouTube at 3 o'clock. Yep. Busy day. Wicket likes eating his food one piece at a time. Mm-hmm. Here we go. One more piece. Honey? Yeah. I think I have a Burt's Bees problem. I got five of them stacked up in this drawer. This is Justin Hillgrove, one of my favorite artists of all time, and if you've seen any shot from around the house, you've likely seen his artwork hanging up. At any angle that you can stand in the house, you can see one of his pieces. And he just released a, a few new originals on his website, and I like it. The newsletter went out, impsonmonsters.com, and so I, I saw a few of these pieces and said, ooh, and I got excited. So this piece here is called Safe in the Bows. I've got, those of you who know me, I, I have four kids. So I'm heavily influenced by the fact that there's kids all over the house. Um, and I just, the, with the, the idea behind this piece was just that, you know, this mom or dad, uh, some kind of parental figure, um, has its baby and they want to go for a walk and the area they live in is not very safe. And so in order to do that, they just kind of do it in the trees. And uh, so. Which is interesting because the adult doesn't seem like it would be safe to approach necessarily, but the yeah, child seems yeah, so well, happy. No, not a safe place, so I guess that changes you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baby's happy though. Indeed. That's what matters. This one, this, I, for some reason this reminded me of Rampage. Oh, the... The video game. Oh, the video game. Yeah, I used yeah. to love that video game. Yeah. It was one of my favorites. Oh. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it was child. just... I, uh, I love kaiju. I love uh, old... Japanese monster movies just because they're so well they're so awesome and rid ridiculous at the same time and I thought it would be funny if there was this big monster that came in and he's just putting on a puppet show you know with all these little monster puppets and so he's destroying the city but as part of a big show that he's, he's doing so he's playing it's not he's not evil or anything he just oh. he's just having a good time it's good to know so, so we can see now we can explain that he's not evil <laughs> yeah he's just people get scared he shouldn't be he's just having a good time then, of course, I love Star Wars. I've got my Star Wars hat on. So, um, and, uh, this one, I just, it's from an old sketch I did years ago where I was thinking about how funny it would be if there was a scarecrow and someone put a, a Darth Vader helmet on it and so he could, like, force choke the, the, uh, the crows. Yeah. So there's, you know, there's a whole bunch of um, dead crows at the, at the bottom. But, you know, keeping the, keeping the field safe. <laughs> One uh, one crow at a time. And this little guy right here is just a little flame and his little burnt up log that they're, you know, so happy together. No uh no deep thought there. Just just <laughs> a random good goodwill towards thing. opposites, I suppose. They attract. And then you just completed a book? Yeah, or I just, an illustration of this. It? This I just did for fun. Um, it's Jabberwocky is one of my favorite poems. Lewis Carroll. Um, Lewis Carroll, 1872, wrote it for part of the um, Alice through the Looking Glass and what she found there. But um, this, basically, it's just a, it's the unabridged poem. Uh, and I just kind of put my own spin on it. Yeah, it's about as little as we can get. We can get a little too. Look at that. Now when we're walking up and walking down, we can be inspired by Justin. I'm going to show you how we usually try to hang things here. This is a Hercules hook, and you can get about 10 of them or 20 of them for a dollar. And they essentially, after you poke a hole through the drywall, 
uh, create uh, a stable enough anchor to hold, I believe, up to 50 pounds. It just kind of pokes through, and then it kind of slides in this way and anchors just like that. Pretty simple. Get this a watercolor from Justin Hillgrove, or I guess by Justin Hillgrove, hanging there opposite of some other watercolors in our hallway. Fridge cam! Remember months ago when that wine exploded from the pressure? Yeah. Apparently, we missed a spot. A big spot. Oh, look, it's a creeper. <laughs> Honey, don't you always ask me if I missed you? Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. Uh, give me a second, I was going to miss you. Hey, me. She's just afraid. <laughs> watching the videos. The videos? Oh, so that's how we got so many views. You're watching them over and over again. Good job. Look, it's the rainbow, hon. It's a double rainbow. No, no, it's just one. It's just, it's, it's just one rainbow. A double rainbow. You know, you can see a rainbow out, outside uh, oh, cool. of our house there. It's kind of neat. I mean, there's not much else going on there. See, look, I'm trying to get the full range of the rainbow there. It shows up better. One hell of a rainbow. Hey man, I like rainbows. I think we're going to start uploading our daily vlogs right around 5 p.m. Pacific every day. Yeah. If only because we uh, do the live TLDR every weekday at 3 p.m. We want the latest video to show up in your feed to always be the latest vlog. So that way, uh, you don't accidentally miss one. But even if you do miss one, you can just keep track of the numbers that uh, we put in the title. So you know you've seen it all. And then, of course, all you need to do is head over to vlog.perillo.com and that'll pull up our YouTube playlist. And as soon as you've watched each individual vlog, you'll get a little watched icon next to each uh, particular clip. Neat, huh? So Diana is now responsible for managing comments on the YouTube channel. And you've begun blocking some people. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't know how to use commas right. Mm -hmm. And they're mean. They're mean. And they spell your name wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Any other reason someone might get blocked? If their comment is boring. If their comment's boring. Or so they better make exciting comments. If their username is boring. Wow. What can they do to make sure they're not going to get blocked? Be nice. This is the way you get out of work. You, you're vlogging me. <laughs> I'll grab this one. Oh, this one's heavy. We're sipping dinner. Bubble tea. Those are tapioca balls. I got almond flavor. Diana, you got coconut flavor. What extra tapioca? She likes the balls, so the more the merrier. And um, these were fifty percent off. We got a coupon. Two for one. Exactly. <laughs> Make the deal, da dee da deal do, dee da dee da do. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. 
I'm dumb and you're dumber. You married me. <laughs> Who's the dumber one now? Flip Warrior wants to know, do you guys wear shoes in your house? No. Not really. We wear house shoes, so that way, like, it's easier to, like, bat you if you do something wrong. Who 7 z suggests we use Cryana for our name? Like, <laughs> together, Chris and D Diana is Cryana. Ah, it worked! Oh! Yeah, you called? You said dinner was ready. Mm-hmm. Here we go. What do you mean, here we go? We're gonna share this. This is dinner? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you make it? Yeah. Wow, how'd you get in the plastic? <laughs> <laughs> this is you having problems getting dinner out? Yeah. <laughs> so what is this? This is a, a gummy burger. Gummy burger. It's a gummy <laughs> burger. Mmm. Mmm. Are you sure? Like, mm. That's ketchup, mustard, pickle. Mm. And bun. <laughs> Where's the beef, hun? <laughs> Where's the beef? It's vegan. There's no, it's, it's a vegan gummy <laughs> burger. What's it like? Gummy. Mmm. 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 It's good. Mm. Mm. A little sour. I think it's the ketchup. I can't get to the apple. You have to eat the caramel. I want to eat the caramel. You mean eat the caramel and give it to you? No. It's good. I'm good. Is that you or Wicket? Wicket? <laughs> <laughs> you try to wave the caramel to help the smell? Great. Now it smells like caramel farts in here.